Imagine waking up one morning and your Bitcoin is gone. Not stolen, not hacked, just vanished. Because something far more powerful came into the market and broke the system. This is the dark reality of quantum computing. In 2022, a report claimed that quantum computers could actually break Bitcoin's encryption. Within hours, panic spread, crypto market crashed by billions and billions of dollars. And now, with Microsoft Margerona One chip, they are aiming to create a quantum computer with over 1 million qubits. We're able to build an entirely new quantum architecture, the topological core, which can scale to a million topological qubits on a tiny chip. And here's the scariest part. Bitcoin's encryption doesn't even need a million qubits. Experts say that the encryption need just 4,000 qubits. So today, we are going to answer the biggest question of all. Will quantum computing destroy Bitcoin? But before we could actually answer the question that will quantum computing actually break Bitcoin, we have to understand first how Bitcoin security actually works. Bitcoin's security is actually based on SHA-256 cryptography, a system so powerful that normal computers would take centuries to solve just one problem. National Institute of Standard and Technology confirms that SHA-256 is immune to brute force attacks. Even National Security Agency helped to build this system. So Bitcoin is completely safe, right? Well, to understand the threat, we have to first understand what is a quantum computer. Traditional computers think in black and white, means in zeros and one. When it comes to quantum computing, instead of working in zeros and one, it can actually work both in the same time, meaning quantum computers can work with zeros and ones with the same time. A mind-blowing concept that is called superposition. And this changes everything. Because instead of solving problems step by step, Quantum computers solves millions of possibilities at the same time. Let me show you how. Imagine you've trapped inside a massive dark maze. A normal computer would take the slow way, testing one path at a time, hitting dead ends and starting over. But a quantum computer, it doesn't test paths one by one. It stimulates all possible paths at once and instantly finds the exit. Now imagine if this power was used not to escape the mess, but to break Bitcoin's encryption. Because at its core, Bitcoin security is just math. Math so complex that today's computer would take millions of years to solve. But what if quantum computers could solve it in seconds? This is why experts are saying that quantum computing would actually end Bitcoin one day as we know it. So, Bitcoin is already in danger, right? Quantum computers are improving so fast and in insane speed that experts once thought breaking Bitcoin encryption would take centuries. At this rate, whether it's 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, or even 100 years, one day quantum computers will be so powerful that they can break crypto encryption in seconds. But here's the real question. Do we have enough power to break Bitcoin encryption today? Experts estimate that to break Bitcoin's encryption, quantum computers would need at least 4,000 logical qubits. And when I say logical qubits, you must be thinking, what exactly is a logical qubit? So here's the catch. In a quantum computing, there are actually two types of qubits. One physical qubit and one logical qubit. A physical qubit is a raw and unstable qubit that requires massive error correction, whereas a logical qubit is a perfect and error-free qubit that performs the real calculation. And here's the catch. Because quantum computers make ton of errors, one logical qubit can require thousands of physical qubits. So if we need 4,000 logical qubits, we actually need millions and millions of physical qubits. And today, even the most advanced quantum computers only have few hundreds of qubits. I'm talking about physical qubits, not logical qubits. So today, the most advanced quantum computers have few hundreds of physical qubits, which means they are not in tens and hundreds of logical qubits right now. 
So that's why we are still far away to break Bitcoin's encryption. But that doesn't mean Bitcoin is safe forever. Bitcoin developers aren't just sitting there and watching this drama. They know this is the real threat. So that's why they've been working a lot to protect Bitcoin. In 2023, NIST selected four new encryption algorithms designed to survive the quantum era. Also, scientists are developing new blockchain layers to protect transactions from quantum threats. Some cryptocurrencies like the QRL, Quantum Resistant Ledger, are already designed to post quantum threats. Because once quantum computers would have enough power, it won't be just Bitcoin at risk, it will be everything. Major banks, even military organization will be at risk. So will quantum computer and Bitcoin? In future, maybe, but only if Bitcoin doesn't evolve. Because the future of Bitcoin is not about survival, it's about evolution. So the real question is, will Bitcoin evolve in time or will quantum computer will make it obsolete? What do you think? Will Bitcoin survive this quantum era? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you love AI and techie videos, make sure to subscribe DeepMind AI for upcoming videos like this.